talking to Jim, Jim Newman. <laughs> Thanks for visiting uh, my little place here. Oh, you're on your way back to Austria. Austria. Yeah. With the airplane from Schiphol. Yeah. And we're quite near Schiphol. We can hear some airplanes flying over. Maybe your airplane is flying over. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> you did some meetings in Amsterdam. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was nice. Really nice. Nice people. Nice meetings. Uh, what makes a crowd nice? What makes a crowd nice? Well, I guess they're all mostly nice. Um, crowds. I don't know how to answer that. What makes a crowd nice? Well, I never thought of it. Is that would uh, imply that there are also sometimes crowds who are a little like all, all firing difficult questions? I like, I like firing difficult questions. Yeah. I like people who don't believe what's being shared there. I like it when there's a little bit of a of a tension because it's you know it's just it, it sometimes it brings some different answers out that aren't you know you're not running over the same program all the time there's some you know we did have on Sunday we had a philosopher who wanted to make a philosophy out of it and that was interesting for a little while and then it got annoying yeah I got a little well he just kept going over he wanted to make it into a philosophy but then he wouldn't stay logical with his philosophical um, you know um, what do you call it syllogism you know logical yeah. deduction he just wouldn't stick with it he's so he's coming off from all over the place and that gets a little boring when somebody's trying to just make a story out of it when somebody's just trying to get you know some sort of their own ideas into it and aren't listening to what's being said yeah that's an interesting chapter already because some people tell me non-duality is based on an old indian philosophy well of course non-duality isn't based on anything it's <clears throat> non-dualism points to this as being a non dual as not two so that's not a philosophy and it doesn't have any any respect for any ancient times so it's not about advaita vedanta from india all the upanishads years ago which is now translated in like let's say a, a modern formula yeah i don't know i don't know too much about the upanishads and about advaita vedanta i think it means the knowing of not two and i don't know what that means it's not the same that what you talk about well th this isn't about knowing anything so the what's being shared in the meetings is not about something that's known. It's pointing to the fact that what appears is unknowableness. Unknowableness. Hmm. hmm. So it's hard to uh, uh, get words for that then. Well, in one way, it's impossible. It's utterly impossible because there isn't a word or a concept or a position outside of everything to point to what's being suggested. So in that sense, it's completely impossible. But you can discuss about what, what hides that reality, the experience of being an individual, the experience of position, the experience of knowing as real, me being real. I've heard these words before from uh, Tony Parsons. Ha yeah, absolutely. Has he been a, a, a um, let's say... He's the guy. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. He's the guy you visited? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The it's the first time I heard this. It was through Tony Parsons. In Amsterdam? No. I saw a video of him, and then I called him up. And I, I can't remember what it was. I just remember being utterly terrified <laughs> by the message. I just suddenly heard what he was saying. I heard it. It was undeniable. As soon as I heard it, it was like, that's it. That's undeniable. Were yeah. you a spiritual searcher? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I had the unfortunate calamity, calamitous experience of having an awakening when I was younger. And that, of course, will make anybody into a spiritual seeker, a hopeless spiritual seeker. And so I was trying to find something I thought I knew. How old were you? I don't know. Younger. Yeah. Okay, so it's not about um, uh, an, awaken an awakening. It's not about finding something you lost. No, the, it's, it's actually the end of that experience that something's been lost. It's the end of that experience of feeling like something needs to be found. Hmm. That's, that's actually what non-dualism points to. It's not about the completion or an answer being found. It's the end of the seeking without anything ever having been found. Hmm. Sounds qu quite uh, disappointing. Oh, yeah, it would be. If the individual knew what, what this was, it would be disappointed. It doesn't, it doesn't fulfill the individual's needs in any way at all. It has nothing for it. The individual expects the end of its search to have some correlation to its expectations. So for the individual, this appearance in its life is very, very important. It's, it's about me. Oh man, but not just me. I'm the most important me in the world. And my world and my life are very complex. There's all sorts of aspects everywhere. And so it expects that the solution to its problem to itself 
is gonna it's somehow gonna reflect that expectation that what it is is really complex and really um, complicated so it expects of Jesus or something else realization to come along and save it and the re the recognition that the solution to that problem if you want to put it that way is that it's not it's completely disappointing hmm and uh, doesn't give it anything no you you leave us empty-handed well the message the individual is empty-handed that's yeah. the reason it keeps wanting more and more and more and is it like um, when you uh, uh, hear this for the first time it's like sometimes an atom bomb boom but then in my case i get the yearning to talk about it read about it watch movies about it is that is that wrong no absolutely. i don't know how it could be wrong this isn't about the 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 message is the end of right and wrong how could anything be wrong if there's only what's happening how could anything be wrong if it's already complete yeah the, wrong implies that this appearance has some sort of intention that there's a right way to be and a wrong way to yeah. be yeah yeah it doesn't so if you guys would miss your plane in a couple of hours well that would be wrong that would be wrong no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> The inconvenience. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's also not about what I heard some people say here on the couch. Um, be with what is, and then just go namaste to to to, to the airplane, uh, or how do you call it, the the office at the airport. Acceptance. You're yeah. talking about acceptance. You could become angry and say, "Damn it, we missed the plane." Yeah. Well, maybe anything can happen. It's not about acceptance. It's not about. Yeah, being what is, uh, being with what is, and um, acting like you don't care. The, the individual always has a part of its solution, itself in it. So it always has, you know, if it wants to so solve its apparent problem with feelings and thoughts, it doesn't have many choices except to either become detached mm -hmm. or to accept them. Because those are the only solutions it can still be a part of and still be okay. Yeah. This the, what's being shared here is completely different. It's the end of that need for things to be one way or another. It's the end of the need of acceptance. But but still, you have preferences. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. So you don't feel the need to um, make the world a better place. Well, there's no one here. Mm -hmm. But why not make the world a better place? It's not about it's not about what arises. It's yeah. that what arises isn't actually happening for anyone. It isn't actually happening for anyone. Is it about the intention then that's behind it? Well, there isn't any intention. But what I'm a me. It, it seems like I, I want to make it a better world. There, there actually isn't a me. Okay. There just isn't. So just because there's an experience of separation, just because there's an experience of intention, does not make it true. It's just a dream that the individual is in. Or is and when that happens to stop it's revealed it never happened it doesn't actually affect the appearance this isn't going anywhere hmm. it's not real in that sense of consequence so the individual has no consequence to what's happening only in its dream world is there consequence okay so there's no uh, action reaction apparently there is it's just not real and uh, what <laughs> what's in it for me to know that it's not real nothing the whole message, and this is why it's surprising anybody listens to this <laughs> <laughs> or comes to a meeting. It has nothing to do with the individual. Yeah. It just isn't for the individual. It'll never hear it, never get anything out of it. There's nothing in it for it. Okay. It's a, the individual is a positivity. It's a charge. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm real. And that positivity is looking for more positivity and trying to avoid negativity. Hmm. This message has no value, has no charge at all. So it doesn't relate to a positive negative experience in any way whatsoever. So it'll be taken sometimes as positive by the individual because it'll hear something it likes yeah. or negative because it doesn't get anything out of it. But actually the message is no charge. It's, it's completely ne neutral. neutral. Yeah. So it doesn't attract or doesn't it doesn't do anything. It can have a react the individual can have a reaction to it or a response to it. But the, the message doesn't do anything. It has no intention in it. It's not that not being a me is better than being a me. It's not that these, this should look a certain way or that me should drop or that something else should happen. It's not that at all. It's mainly pointing to what can't be spoken about and describing the experience that hides that, what can't be spoken about.
That's all it does. It's not. There doesn't have any movement in it really at all. Yeah. So it's not about. Uh, let's say you know, we have the climate change. You could say all those me's going around <laughs> want to add things to them: bigger cars, bigger houses. That's destroying the planet. So everybody has to get m rid of their me, and that would save the planet. Right. You think? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fantasizing. <laughs> yeah. Y you could easily make this into a movement. Or, uh, the no me movement. Yeah, the no me movement. The green no me movement. Yeah, yeah. You have the yeah. green in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of it, but I, I'm, I just imagine that all the people going to Bali mm. and visiting the satsangs, they, they, well, can feel like they're doing some important work. Oh, I'm. I think so. I think people do feel like when they're being spiritually active, that they're doing something good. I think being spiritual often has very much to do with being good, a good person, peaceful. And being enlightened is like being a really, really good person. Hmm. Yeah. The best person around. The best person around. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm not sitting here with uh, with with someone, uh, someone, dot, but someone who's enlightened. Everything you put behind the someone is totally nonsense. Yeah. Okay. But still, but there I, as well. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Great. There's no one there either. That's a that's an, uh, um, a comforting message. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I'm past the that it scares me. That's scary. I think, <clears throat> but still, when I look at you and you, know, you can laugh at me uh, if you want, but I see some <laughs> clarity in your eyes. You you have like an open vision or something. Uh -huh. I can I can not look through you, but I can I can see that you're not worried that much. Yeah, is that me projecting all kinds Probably. of specialness on you? Well, there's nobody here that knows that. But do you ever get that reaction more often? Well, I, I, I just don't know a lot of times if it's just not a projection, people coming out. Because there's no reflection here about how would this know if there's no worry? Well, it's Or if there's an open... But that's just what, what's happening. Hmm. Who, would, who would know? I just don't know how to reflect on it to know whether there's, there's no worry here or whether there's contraction here. Who would be there to know? The body, maybe? But, but see, what you're doing is you're saying that there is a real me mm -hmm. that really drops. And then there's a real shift. And when that shift happens, then there's this certain clarity or everything. That's just part of the dream of the individual, that something real is going to happen to bring about that which is lost. Nothing's lost. There isn't anyone to drop. Hmm. The end of the dream is the end of the experience that something was happening that never happened. It's a dream. It's not happening. There's only the immediate what's happening, what is and isn't. That's all there is. That doesn't change. Hmm. And what about stress? This isn't about what arises. It's <laughs> that it doesn't arise for anyone. Okay. It and yeah, and it arises as the dream in the dream. When there's a dreamer, that's what's happening. Yeah. That's the arising. The dream is arising. Otherwise, there's just the immediacy of what seems to be happening. And at meetings, people start asking questions. Does that bring about like a, a certain kind of atmosphere or? Sometimes, sometimes it does. I mean, actually, the meetings are all very, very different because of the questions. The questions I find are the what make the meeting. So the meeting or the, the message doesn't actually have a position. It doesn't have, have an intention. Mm -hmm. So it's the questions that bring out the energy of what the meeting is like. And so it can be very different. You say on your website, non-duality points to the unknowable. So it's not about knowing. You say it's about nothing. Mm -hmm. But something that caught my eye was separation uh, as a psychosomatic misunderstanding. Yeah. So when it's psychosomatic, it, mm -hmm. it can be felt in the body. Then. What I'm pointing to there, and I'm not sure it's the best way to, to, to describe it, is that the me, that experience of separation, arises out of a contracted energy in the body. That's what I'm pointing to when I say psychosomatic. Okay, so it's first... So it's a somatic, yeah, exactly. First this, yeah. then the me. Yeah. So it's not about, it's not a thought construct, no, the me. No, That brings about stress in it's, the body. It actually is a tension that can be felt Actually, it's only actually really recognized when it falls away, how pervasive it is in the entire body, like to the toes, to the end of the hmm. hair, through the entire body. It's a contracted experience of realness. 
And funny enough, when it arises in the body, it arises in everything else, including time and space. So everything, this whole appearance seems to be real and really happening. And it's really happening to me. That's what I'm pointing at. And misunderstanding, I think, is a little unfortunate term. Probably shouldn't be there. Okay, we should maybe correct it. No, that's all right. I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. 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 Um, so does it have any function then, that... that, that misunderstanding that, that no it's not real it doesn't have any function because it's not real it's not really happening there are people telling me yeah it's good that we have this because otherwise i could walk in front of a bus and that could say okay bus come run me over yeah the me doesn't jump out of the way of the bus the me is the part that when the bus is coming and the body says jump will go i wonder if i should <laughs> <laughs> I that's the me that, I can stop that bus that's the me the body will generally just jump out of the way yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so yeah. it's a complicating factor the experience of the individual a disturbing factor well I think sometimes it is or they wouldn't be seeking individual and seeking are exactly the same thing yeah. so it is a disturbing factor because it's always trying to find it actually if you come right down to it, it's an attention in the body that's looking for a better experience. It like is. right now, it's looking for a better, it's always covering, hiding, by looking for what's next. So is it about being present? What? This. There, there's no one to be present. Or, there's nothing other than presence. Hmm. That's, in a way, what the message is pointing to is that there's nothing other than what's happening the immediacy of what's happening it's the whole dream of the individual that there's somewhere else so it can decide to be now it could decide to be present yeah. as something opposite or, or 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 adjacent to or separate from what it is and that just that reality doesn't exist there's just nothing separate so is it like daydreaming i could start daydreaming now b being on the beach in australia with a bit yeah, of blonde, a little bit. blonde babe next to me in a cocktail mm. Mm. yeah a little bit and um, is that something we can sense in each other? If, if, yeah, you can start looking away, or is it something that can be felt? If there's no one? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes you can sort of tell, the way people talk about it, you can sort of hear if there's someone there or not. There are certain things that I just think an individual will always say and some things that no one would ever say. But as far as how people behave, I couldn't see how what would show up about that. No, you can you can see people walking around in the in the gym. Huh? Yeah, not, not you, Jim, but but the there's gym. certain characters that would be like that with a me or without a me, I assume. So without a me, you can still walk around being someone. Well, there isn't a me already. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't think I don't I think well the individual I think expects that there be. Well, like you said, you know, there's a certain look or something that everybody would sort of be happy and we wouldn't destroy the earth anymore and there wouldn't be war and oh. all the rest of it. I don't think that's the case. Hmm. So um, is this what some people say what Jim talks about is Neo Advaita. Yeah. You've heard that once. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Any comments on that? Well, I mean, how could there be a new not to not to <laughs> points to just not to well a modern version that leaves out all the the mantras and all the chakras and all the yeah yeah thank god for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> no function for that all the all the spiritual stuff going on well the, what we're talking for there to have a function that would be that the appearance is somehow missing something yeah so this appearance is somehow missing chance chants or man mantras oh, yeah, yeah or yoga or meditation yeah. or a guru and that's just not the case this isn't missing any there's nothing missing that's it's already it's already intentionless freedom hmm. i know some stories about uh, someone who, who, who found this between it can be found but realize it or whatever you want to call it inside a prison camp in the second world war yeah so it's not about the circumstances. No. It's not about anything. It's not found. Is it realized? No, it's but the the what hides it dies or stops happening. And that's just what's left. <laughs> and then words are useless. Well, I use words like absolute, infinite, unknowing. Those aren't words that you can think about, that you can get a concept of. 
they're pointing to what can't be known. The problem is, is there's no separation. So how, from what, to describe something, to know something, to understand something, to experience something, there would have to be separation. So the message being, and what's being pointed to, is that there isn't any. So what vantage point would you take in order to describe that or talk about it? Because everything that's said, everything that's expressed, is everything. There's no space, real space or distance, to be able to describe everything. Hmm. You'd have to get outside of everything to, do, to be able to point, know it or point to it or describe it. Yeah. yeah. Some people who are on this couch talk about zooming out. How could, that would still be what's happening, though. Someone taking like a... And that would still be what's happening. Yeah. So how do you get outside of what... You, to describe it or to know it, you'd have to get outside of yeah, what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you do that? Well, they tell me you are, you are already outside. Oh, okay, right. Well, that's detachment. That's something else. Okay. So this world isn't happening to me? Okay. It is, is it happening as me? No, no, there's no me. Okay, this world. It's not even really happening. Is there a world? It, well, it depends on what you mean. There's this appearance, and if you speak about a world, then there's this appearance appearing as somebody speaking about a world. There's just what's happening. Yeah. And I even heard Tony said, once said, I'll go a step further, <clears throat> nothing ever happened. No, absolutely, not really. So if we talk about meeting when we came into the house, that's this appearing as us meeting, coming into the house. Mm -hmm. It's not us coming into the house. So there's only the immediacy of yeah. what's happening. It's not a linear, it's only in the, it's, there's sort of when the, when the me arises and the solidity, everything appears solid, it gives sort of a platform to the experience. Yeah. So a linear pro set, yeah. progression. When the me is gone, that platform of reality that creates this continuum breaks apart. And they're simply happening. So talking about what happened is what's happening. Yeah. Doesn't make it doesn't make this a consequence of that, which is the experience of me. So it's not about living in the now. <laughs> there isn't one. There's no or, now. Or or I've said otherwise, there's nothing other than now. Hmm. It does either way you go. Yeah. There's not an objective experience now that I can be in. Still those words when I first heard them, the power of now, Eckhart Tolle. They it seemed like they touched on something. Oh, absolutely. And you can realize it as well. You can realize. Absolutely. You can go all into that whole story, and it's still what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, isn't this like being the smartest kid in the room? Or how does, oh, it is. Yeah. This being talk, enlightened. No, just talking about this, because uh. it, 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 you, you, everyone who thinks he's spirit, spiritual on a further on the spiritual path, you you cut their legs off. But that's the other way around. It's the dumbest person in the room, because this knows, doesn't know anything. There's no knowing. Okay. And so knowing gets projected onto it, yeah. and that gets pushed away yeah. because there isn't any. So it's not being the smartest person no. in the room. No, the dumbest. Well, I mean, that's uh, just yeah. being yeah. Like, facetious. And has it to do anything with love? Is this a loving message? Not in the sense that the individual would want it to be with, you know, with pink, puffy clouds and nice words. It's not that sort of love. But it does, it does, it seems to me, un, un, um, reveal an all-encompassing, an unconditional love that is already everything. In the sense that what appears is perfect in the sense that it doesn't have an opposite. It has nothing else. It has no need to be different. And in that sense, it is very much unconditional. And, and in some way, there is sort of a sense of unconditional love about it, perfection about it. Yeah. And also so, uh, a subtleness. Uh, a what? A subtleness. Oh, yeah. It's it's not a it's not aggressive. You're, you you don't start arguing with what is or who would argue. Yeah, but arguments can come up, but not about what is. Well, not about what is. <laughs> There's no separation. How would you argue with what uh, with yeah. everything there is? L go uh, in a couple of hours. Look at the airport. All the people stressing about. But they're arguing about what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. That that's okay. There's nothing that's not okay. <laughs> it's not about what's okay or what's not yeah. okay. What we're differentiating is what could or couldn't appear. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and the individual always wants to have some sort of guidance for what it would be like or how it should focus yeah. its energy to find what is. Yeah. And it misses the entire thing that it's not there to know. It'll never find it. There's nothing that's not what is and isn't. It's not so it's not about the way I act. There I have to change my behavior. It's about there not being a you. Hmm. Wow, and the and the the shocking part is there already isn't one. So what is it then that thinks I'm a me? It's an experience. It's actually an experience that we spoke about before hmm. that arises out of the tension in the body. And some I once heard uh, an Indian world called Maya. It's it's a, it's like we're, we're suffering, suffering. Yeah, it, it, being a me is is suffering. Um, I'm not sure what that term is, but it's discontent. It's definitely the search for something else, which is discontent. And mostly something better, not something worse. Absolutely, although people are different, yeah. But it's definitely something better. They're always looking for something positive to add to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> and um, all those gurus going around, are they telling the same thing? <clears throat> I don't know who you're talking about. It's not actually, I know it sounds a little special, but it, actually what's being shared here is, is rare. Rare. It, it, it seems to be very rare for there to be a, a message that has no intention, nothing on offer, so no expectation, no still, need. It attracts people to, to come and, and, and listen to you. And visit. Yeah, yeah, some. Do you have to be brave for that? No. Don't be brave. Yeah, yeah. There's a meter. That's to be brave. Yeah, but uh, but you, you, well, we talked at the kitchen table. Uh, it's like an anarchistic message. Oh, it is. It's anarchy pure. Yeah, yeah. So it's it, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, that it's just absolutely so wild that this doesn't have anything behind it holding it together. It's completely wild, unpredictable. So you could could imagine that it's for some kind of people who. Yeah, we're longing, we are longing for that anarchy, longing for that wildness, that 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 one hundred eighty degrees different view on life. Mm. Does that doesn't have any um, uh, how do you call it that it it, it it had a beginning somewhere that someone got touched or in his youth got fed up with the with the with the system mm. with, the, with the society putting them into boxes. That that's how I explain it for myself. Yeah. The individual doesn't ha want this message on any level, ever. No? Has no relation to it at all. It's much too, um, I guess you might say, all-encompassing and personal for there to be a relationship or a wanting of this. It never hears it. It doesn't want it. If there's a resonance with it, it is something, it's something other than the individual. The individual does not resonate with this. Could you give that a name? That that what what's what's resonating? No, even saying resonating is a bit... It's is too a much. Bit, yeah, yeah. It's not life rediscovering its true essence. Well, see, that's exactly what you'd come if you start talking about resonating with it. Yeah. Exactly. As though there was something actually separate that could come to it. Mm. It's not. The individual doesn't ever stop happening in a positive sense that there's then a real shift. There's an unhappening. Something that isn't happening stops appearing to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And any change? Do you sleep better? There's no one left, and any change is just the individual trying to make something special out mm. of it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some benefits out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you of... won't, you won't be there. Yeah. And uh, so the me doesn't doesn't exist, but still it seems like the me is scared of he hearing this. Message. Yeah, absolutely, it is it's terrified. But yeah, that's why that's the suggestion is it's an illusion. The me is an illusion. The experience of, be, of, of, of the whole construct of me is an illusion. It's yeah. not real. Yeah. But still it has the experience of being afraid. Yeah. Hmm. So this, this fear is also not real. Well, nothing is real. That's the whole crux. The individual, the experience that what's happening is real. Nothing's real. Yeah. Yeah. So it's already not. That's what's being pointed to. It still it seems to be there. Well, it is and it isn't. It's not the way the individual experiences it as solid and real. Yeah. It's neither real nor unreal. You can't get a hold of it. It's no. just chaos appearing. There's never 
a second position to to have or hold or to know the apparent first position. There's no separation. There's simply the emptiness of everything being this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to know about that? You still you start smiling when you tell Well, me. it's amazing, isn't it? And it doesn't matter how, mu how, how many times. Nothing you matters. You don't matter. No, no nothing because matters. Because you're not there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I could I could be joyful when this interview ends and we think, hey, it was a nice nice interview. Why not? Yeah, then that's what is. That's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about something changing. It's, it's we're just pointing to the unknowability that there's only the immediate happening. This. Yeah. That's all there is. There's no separation. So you don't. Uh, there's nothing that is rejected. I once heard you say some stuff. Nothing's about, rejected. Some stuff about Muji. And his following, yeah. and if you're talking, there's a video online. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, I saw it. Where I get sort of excited with yeah. a guy in the in the audience who's telling me that what what's being said there, and what's being said in the meetings are the same thing. And I was just pointing out that it's not the same thing. No, but still. But there's no. Just to be clear, there isn't actually a Muji who's deciding to do this or that. Hmm. That's just what seems to be happening. Yeah. The appearance of a, a Muji that talks about those things. Hmm. So you just touch your watch. Yeah. Um, is that free will? Did you? There isn't. There isn't any free. You will. decided to. Touch For there to be free will, there'd have to be two instances, wouldn't there? An act and an actor. There aren't two instances. An act there's, and an actor. There's only what's happening. So the actor, the acting is the actor, or. Well, there's no separation. Yeah. Yeah, there's just what's happening. You can split it up as many parts you want, and it's still what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, free will is, is something you can talk about for hours. It's not. It's 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 useless. You think? I mean, it depends on if you're a therapist or or a scientist, and you're trying to figure out how the neurology works. Yeah. It might make sense to talk about it for hours, but for what's being shared here, it's obvious there isn't anyone with free will and choice. There isn't anyone. So it seems like the me can grab parts of this message and use it for its own convenience. It w yeah. Well, it's not that it can. It doesn't have any choice. It just does that. Because it's on a search, it takes everything that seems to make sense to it and it adds it to itself and try to apply it. It's called applied non-duality. Sorry. <laughs> applied non-duality. It's just an oxymoron. Yeah. There's nowhere to apply everything. Yeah. You can take everything and apply it to everything. No, really. There's just no way to it's it has no value the message. Hmm. It has no function. It doesn't the message doesn't actually move and it points to that what's happening isn't actually really moving. It appears to move. So there's no intention in it. It just merely describes what hides the unknowability of the appearance that's already free. It doesn't, it's not trying to become free. What is doesn't need to be free. Doesn't need to be recognized or known as free. It is that. So no shekels. There aren't any, no. except in the dream of the individual. Yeah. yeah. So once you have the metaphor of a prison, we think we live in a prison, yeah. but there are no bars. Yeah. The bars are mind-made. Yeah. Well, experience. It's part of the experience. The problem for the individual is a real experience. The experience is that I'm in the body and that there's things outside hmm. and there's a real relationship and I have to be able to do what needs to be done to deal with that situation, my life, meaning and purpose. That's, that's the, it's not just a mind-made mm -hmm. bars. It's a real experience that I'm in a situation that I need to deal with. My life. My life. It's a dream. It's not happening. Like it's already not happening. And let's say uh, you hit me in the face. Yeah. Um, where do I feel? You must have been a bad yeah, person. Bad, 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 bad interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must have deserved it. So yeah. nothing would happen. No, nothing. No, no. no I'm sorry. What do no, you want to answer? No, no. <laughs> Where would I feel that pain? It looks like it's localized here on the cheek. Well, that you're talking about the body. The body feels pain. Yeah. Yeah. So the body would feel pain here. Or is there any location? That's what fascinates not, me. Not. Absolutely not. 
So I'm not, there's no center. I'm not centered here. Well, when there's an I, yeah. there is. There is a And center. then it's the middle of the whole thing. It's the center of the universe. Yeah. That's the experience. Yeah. Everything tur is about me. Everything Absolutely. turns around me. I'm and the center of the universe. That's right. That's the experience. Yeah. Important position. A very important position. It once went so far that I started thinking uh, what would happen if, if I die tomorrow. I think the world stops. Yeah. Everybody's going to gonna quit their job and they think that, that, that's, that's how big that idea yeah. can come. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. But, and still, I could imagine that doesn't it have to get this, this proportion of silliness that you can think, well, that, that, that's not true. Not at all. This is already what's happening. This is already the emptiness appearing as a water glasses and hands. Hmm. What needs to happen for this to be what it is? Nothing. Yeah, it's already. It's already. That's what's being pointed to. What is and isn't, the emptiness that appears, is already. Why do you guys always say what is and isn't? Why, why take that <coughs> paradox? Well, because you can't say it. Isn't isn't. You can't say. There's a what word for it. You can't say what this is. Hmm. Just that that comes m much cl uh, the most close. It sounds like a paradox. Of course, what is isn't a paradox. It's only a paradox when you're trying to describe it or understand it. It's not a paradox. Hmm. What is it then? Well, just what it is. And isn't. <laughs> just what it is. And isn't. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> So, just in the story, uh, you've been talking about this for 10 years or? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And I want to that that's not, yeah, it's, it's something that your uh, wife says, come on, get on stage, start talking. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, a few people encouraged me to talk. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. What, what is it then that, yeah, that they encourage, that, that what, what they think then that you have something to say? Maybe. Or maybe she just likes to travel to nice towns. Ah, it's an excuse. <laughs> that could be, yeah. Shopping, I think, is the yeah. No, just, <laughs> just kidding. You ever been on stage with Tony, with the two of you? No. Best of both worlds? No, both worlds is the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ever been to Science and non Jovi conference or something? You no, no, never been. What's the biggest thing you've done on, on this planet? <laughs> <clears throat> the biggest meeting I've had? Yeah, or... Um, I don't know, probably London. Yeah. I've never done anything. I've never been on stage or in that sense of a part of another um, happening. You're from America? Yeah. California? New Orleans. It seems like some parts of America are very open to this. Yeah, yeah. And some parts aren't. Is mm -hmm. it something also uh, cultural? That let's say in Amsterdam, Netherlands, a lot of people yeah. want to hear this, and in, maybe in, in Belgium not. I don't have any idea. I guess, I think, I mean, if you wanted to look at it that way, you could probably say that certain cultures have more or less tendencies. So, so for hearing this or wanting to hear this yeah. or being open to it. So, are we, the <laughs> are we the lucky ones here in the Netherlands that we're open to this? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could imagine. <laughs> but yeah, also some teachers tell me, well, everyone is going to realize this, even if it's the last second you you breathe. Mm. Any yeah. thoughts on that? Um, yeah, maybe. When the body dies, that there's nothing left holding on to that experienced. For me, when the body's dying, also the whole projected experience of time where the individual has hope yeah. collapses. You sometimes see those people in hospice, uh, is that the right English Yeah, word? hospice. They seem free. Yeah. And, and relaxed. Yeah. And, and not worried. Mm. Because, yeah. So it, it, one sort of teacher say, um, die before you die. Yeah, that sounds good. Who's going to do it? So is it like a lottery? Well, n not really, because nobody wins. The, 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 this isn't nothing. Nothing is actually on offer. Yeah, this isn't about getting something. It's about the end of something that's already not happening. It's just loss without any gain. Hmm. And what do you think about people where, like me? I say I go to Tony Parsons. Wow, smart guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And I sit there and wow, 
I get outside, I get into the car, and at the first red light, not the red light district, but the stop stoplight, <laughs> so, someone honks his horn and I get angry. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't go to Tony Parsons, and you didn't get in your car, and you didn't get angry. It's just what happened. What did I do? You didn't do anything. No. Is it like the old Indians say, I don't appear in the room, the room appears in me? No. Also not. Well, no, Well, because that would include, that would say there was a me that had the room inside of it. Me as, a, as consciousness. I get, the, I get the idea. I get where they're coming from that you could almost say that I am that. But that's still, for me, a contracted center, a contracted sort of knowing. Hmm. And what is just doesn't have anything in it that can be named or, or positioned. So I'm not the, uh, the one who makes the world possible. I'm not the space to be a, to, to <laughs> no. a world to appear. No, absolutely not. Is that like just a, what you said once before, enlarging yourself to not from being this distracted me, now I'm yeah. the one who makes the universe possible. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny, uh, all, all the things we talk about. Yeah. I, I, I made a notation, splinter in the brain. What do you mean about that? Well, we were talking downstairs about um, hearing this message and how some people resonate with it in a way that that won't let them go. Yeah. And I've heard that described as splinter in the brain. Yeah. I've been talking to people about this for 10 years now, as it seems. Mm. Um, I, I'm, I read once that, that this, like you could call all those interviews, also a search. Huh? Yeah. Uh, that this just keeps on um, uh, pretending that it's not found or it's not now or it's not uh, finished. Are you saying that you're just pretending that you haven't found it, but you no, have already? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not pretending anything, but I, I could imagine that doing those interviews for 10 years, just like the colleague of Buddha at the Gas Pump and, and other uh, in initiatives on, on YouTube, um, it keeps the search going because would there be otherwise an interest to do those interviews? Well, I mean, I think the, the clearest answer is there isn't anyone making that choice. It stops or it doesn't stop. Uh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> there's just the point what being pointed to is there's just what's happening your wife starts yawning <laughs> no it's not, not no problem but I, then immediately my my me says mm. oh did this must be a there isn't interview. a me but what what the thoughts that say that this must be a boring interview that's what's happening and those thoughts not believe them or well, there's no one to believe them or not believe them. Only the individual comes in and says that's a good or a bad thought, hmm. and then it gets a whole thing going. Yeah. But otherwise, it's just a thought. So how do you deal with thoughts? There's no gym that deals with thoughts. Okay, but just I mean, it's impossible to imagine. But that's exactly. I mean, what else am I going to say? Except there's no one left that has the need to organize the thoughts yeah. and put them into its little box of my life of good and bad and right and hmm. wrong. But you could imagine there's the thought I'm thirsty. Yeah. Then the action follows, you take the cup of water and yeah. you drink. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that that thought had a function or... Ha yeah, it, it, apparently. The body... Reacted. Felt thirst. Yeah. Then there probably, maybe there wasn't even a thought. Just the action of getting water and drinking it. So there's no thought that leads to action. Well, there might be. And to feelings or feelings that lead to thoughts yeah. and lead to action. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's the misunderstanding, that I have a feeling, let's see, uh, let's say... No, the think. misunderstanding is, I have feeling, I have thought. Okay, there that's is... That's the misunderstanding, and that, that misunderstanding is put into the experience that I have a life, which is unfulfilled, so I need to use what's, you know, what's available to find what I'm looking for. So thoughts and feelings, happenings, <clears throat> that... The concepts of non-dualism. I'll just add anything to myself. Rearrange it in any way I need to, to try to find what I'm looking for. Constantly. Constantly. Without pause, the me does that. In the dream. Yeah. And that's how most people seem to go about their life. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. And then there's an apparent Jim Newman who says that it's otherwise. Yeah, that's right. And we come, 
and listen or we watch this interview and we get relaxed as I feel now also and and then there isn't there isn't a <laughs> past <clears throat> to become a then yeah but well, it could imagine there's only this happening that's the whole point the individual has the experience that there's a happening which yeah. had a had a, a beginning a middle yeah. and an end yeah and there isn't that that's just an appearance it's not real but i know where you guys are going to leave in a <clears> couple <throat> of hours to the airport there is a quite a chance that that old pattern of, of that's what what's happening starts that's what's happening yeah and nothing good or bad not that this, this is better than uh, in a couple of hours i start rearranging the kitchen because i think it's going to make me happy yeah <clears throat> there's just what's happening yeah <laughs> show me something else i could show you a movie and would that be other than what's happening no that's a movie happening on the screen yeah hmm and there's also no future apparently there is just like there's an apparent past yeah the the, the difference we're talking about is that it's no longer experienced as real yeah so you don't go as far as Tony who says Second World War never happened it apparently happened you just mentioned it yeah so it's what is appearing as the memory or the knowledge or whatever of an apparent happening called the Second World War but still it's not back there in the past there's no back there in the past this is this is timeless the 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 thought of the Second World War rising yeah yeah it didn't happen somewhere else hmm. there Seems isn't there isn't anywhere else not 70 years ago no but 70 years ago is what just is happening the thought of 70 years ago hmm. I can imagine if they told me at school that uh, the Russians were the first <laughs> who landed on the moon hmm. I would start believing that hmm. so it's all a story yeah so can I be sure of anything no because it's not real hmm. it's imagined it's experienced experienced the experience is a dream hmm. and what about when I go to sleep this uh, this night I dream I'm Napoleon oh doesn't end well no that didn't end <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know ahead of time <laughs> thanks <laughs> I'm gonna choose another dream <laughs> Is, is that the same thing going on but just in a light version or something or I'm not sure what you mean but all the, the only response that comes up is that's what's happening yeah you're coming up with these different instances mm -hmm. as though somehow you're going to be showing something outside yeah, of trying, what's happening trying very or hard. something that actually has a positive value or a negative value or needs something and it just it just all this is the absolute the leveler mm. this message is a total leveler yeah yeah no, I'm, I'm trying the equalizer to, yeah oh, that sounds good um, it's about comparing you know I'm thinking that this dream I have the individual lives in comparison yeah the message is the end of comparison the message is the end of com comparison mm -hmm. yeah so it, it's not no nowhere use. to go <laughs> there's just what's happening you already couldn't tell me anything that about uh, outside of what's happening no that's true but I'm, I'm just thinking you know I've had a dream this night and is it the same thing going on that I have right now that for me it would be a uh, for me yeah it's a reassuring message that you know if you say the concept of dream and I start immediately start looking for okay what is a dream then again okay the dream is that what's happening is real that's a dream that's a dream so th this isn't a dream it's an appearance okay appearance and meaning uh, it's real and unreal or it's neither yeah. real nor unreal a fanta morgana yeah with no one looking at it okay it seems to be there yeah and there is even and that's the end of it hmm. yeah <laughs> so it's not important <laughs> no it's not important no is that why this message is so relaxing maybe nothing is important <laughs> now we got into your notes no, 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 I'm just, no, 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 I'm just, yeah, you can look at those. Yeah, <laughs> I just have something to do in my hands. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, you're a very funny guy. I have some quotes here. Oh, no. <coughs> quotes from who? Could you please show that to the audience? Oh, all you need is love and coffee. Coffee's good. Okay, I'm going to make you a good. cup of coffee. 
No. I've had some things. Okay. But all those things like this. Here. It's just hope. Smile more. More worry less. Yeah, yeah. good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all these things, the individual thinks it's going to do to make its life better. It's just what's next. It's just trying to have a better experience. It can't, if there's no one in there doing the individual, the individual is just something that also seems to be happening. It just happens to be completely illusory. But there isn't anybody in there that has a choice. And so it will always try to make its life better. That's what it's about. That tension is not this, what's next, the next experience. And so if I smile more and worry less, I'll be happy. What about this? Sunshine is a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all the same thing. The last one. Yeah. I, you're going to like this. I know. It's, he's <laughs> going to like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the biggest one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> smile and the world smiles with you. Aww. Hope springs eternal. <laughs> 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 if I get it right, everything will be okay. Yeah, in the end. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If I get it right, if I act right, behave yeah. right. For me, that's like a straitjacket of how I'm supposed to be. It's t torture in a way trying to be a good person, trying to be in a way that's going to bring about what I'm looking for. It's torture. It never works. It just never works. Even if I get what I want, mm -hmm. that has within it the hope or the need to hold on to it. So even that's not satisfying. It just never ends. It never ends. Yeah. So, and, and then you guys leave in, a, in, in, a, in an hour or so. You leave me empty-handed. There isn't anyone there. Oh yeah, there's no me. With open hands or empty hands. Um, it's just what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's eating what's happening or watching TV or going to bed or, yeah. But still, when I meet another nice girl and I tell my girlfriend, yeah, that's just what happened last night. Mm. But that's also what's happening. Breakup is going to happen. Breaking up is going to happen, yeah. Yeah. That smack on the face you talked about, yeah, yeah. that the might happen, cheeks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, so nowhere to go to? No one, no, no one. one that no goes one. anywhere. No one to. That's. It's all about there being no one. Yeah. And then there's no need to define the rest of it. Yeah. And that thing that is, or whatever that that thought construct or that feeling that is saying. Don't go there because it's gonna, it's gonna be very boring, or it's mm -hmm. gonna be not satisfying, or that's what's happening. Yeah, and they're either they'll either be going there or not going there, and no one's gonna decide. Hmm. How much of those interviews I do, or watch, or go to satsang, or read books, or nobody's doing that. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm. Anything you want to add to this uh, relaxing conversation, uh, no, Jim? No, I'm no. good. Promo talk. Promo. Yeah, simply dot, simply dash mm. this dot com. Mm. That's the website. Yeah. And there are some nice essays on there also. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And some other interviews and some videos from your talks. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on visiting the Netherlands again? Uh, yeah, soon? we loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe in a half a year or so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do some promo for that. Oh. And what's the next stop? Uh, Austria, back in Austria? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Austria. Also talks there? Yeah, we have a meeting on, on Saturday. Uh, maybe a silly question, but do people in Austria ask different questions than in Amsterdam? They do. Yeah? The, the, the energy of the, of the cities are actually really quite different. I couldn't tell you how right now, but I just know that it's, it's very different. But each meeting is different. We had three. We had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mm -hmm. here. And they were all, I mean, it was like different worlds. Surprising. That's not, that doesn't happen that often. Yeah. And you, you go to New York once in a while to do Yeah. Things? Yeah. Nothing planned now, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to follow you. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, well, thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you.